Well, good afternoon. This is Travel Man of Kent. Today, I've gone to the London Transport Museum. And before we do that, like last week, let's go and watch a steam train called Royal Scott leave Victoria. Let's go. <laughs> Just at Buckingham Palace and uh, what a waste of time that was. Spent a good half hour waiting for that and a bloody train goes past it. Unbelievable. So as you can see here, they have the progression of the tram from horse-drawn cart to horse-drawn tram. Yeah. So 
so as I say, upstairs, that was the first section that you go to with the lift, uh, which will take you up to the top floor, and then you work your way down. Uh, now, on, I'm on to the level one, which is my favourite part, and that's the whole reason why I came here, and it's the trains. So, um, yeah, an another museum and another week. Uh, so, I, yeah, I de definitely thought that place was going to be a lot bigger, I must admit. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I liked what you, you can see, but unfortunately, as you saw, a lot of stuff wasn't actually working, especially the interactive stuff, which was a shame. Um, luckily, it weren't too busy. Um, but, yeah, another one, another museum that I've, that's ticked off my list, and I've got an annual pass now for the rest of the year. Uh, for £24.50, which is not too bad actually, and uh, so I'll definitely be coming back when they do a special event or the next one of the next open days at Acton. Uh, so I'll be look, definitely be coming back for that. Um, now let's go and get let's go and get some food. So um, yeah, I didn't get any food unfortunately. I just want to go home now. So I'm on my way back to London, Victoria via St James's Park. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you want any, anything more to do with museums and I'll see you soon.